Welcome back to Tia Stavola, helping you get Bellissimo on a budget. In frank English speak, the thrift store ran out is continuing to honor Italian Heritage Month in October by continuing to highlight one of the major cornerstones in properly honoring Italian Heritage Month. Food! And at this time, we're going to bring back a woman who knows food like the back of a gulo. My girl, Rachel Ray. This is the September 2012 issue of her now former Everyday Magazine. Like the Food Devil Magazine issue that we reviewed in March, from March of 2017. This is all Italian. Ravioli, pizza, bruschetta, biscotti, risotto, linguini. In all, 75 insanely delicious recipes. Savory Italian soups, lasagnas you'll love. Kid approved gnocchi and irresistible desserts. Plus... Cool little Italy's within driving distance. Authentic eats. No passport. And even a gluten-free lasagna. And of course, the good 30-minute meals that any issue of Every David Wait Your Way ought to have. Collection on a discount. In the haul that I purchased this on, well, I accidentally listed a 25% discount on this and another two Every David Wait Your Way magazines from the same year from November and December. I actually purchased it along with the other two for 50% off the price of a buck forty-nine because it all added up to a little over two dollars and forty-seven cents. I will make a collection in that video's description. So um November and December were purchased for fifty percent off the price of a buck forty-nine and comparable to F and M for March of 2017, which I previously reviewed today. Well, hello, that's double the discount. So much the better. Like the FNM All Italian issue from March 2017 here, it too highlights some little Italy's, but unlike the FNM March 2017 issue, this one highlights New York's little Italy. Hey, New Jersey doesn't have a little Italy of its own that I'm aware of, so if I want to get the classic experience, I might as well go to New York someday. I've been to New York before, but never to little Italy. And if I ever do go there, the first place I head to will be Lombardi's, America's oldest pizzeria. So this has an advantage over FNM by highlighting uh, the Little Italy of New York, but we also got Little Italy in Chi Town, Chicago, San Fran, San Francisco, Cleveland, Baltimore, Providence, New Haven, Connecticut, St. Louis, and Philadelphia. And because you know this is a Wix Away magazine, by law. We must highlight 30-minute meals. There's Italian, and there's Italian-American. The recipes here reflect both. There's spins on my family's favorite Italian dishes, or the specialties that I have loved at first bite. So, here we go, Venetian-style spaghetti all a whippiata, smoky skillet cacciatore, dirty martini mussels, beef and watercress stuffed portobello mushrooms, Spat spaghetti with bacon and cherry tomato sauce, and zucchini with penne with hot pepper pesto. By the way, you know which is which if you see this Italian American label. But just because they're labeled as Italian American in some dishes does not mean they're any less delicious. Sliced steak with pepper onion sauce and deviled crab linguine. Three cheese bread pizza with kale and sausage. And Ali Olio was fall spaghetti, kale, and hazelnut breadcrumbs. What I like so much about this section of 30 Minute Meals is that they give you photographic step-by-step -step instructions for some of the key directions here. You know, A, B, C, D, they're labeled in alphabetical order, along with their corresponding times, for you to follow those directives. So that makes it extra convenient. And hey, no matter if you cook Italian or Italian-American, there's not one person alive of any heritage who doesn't appreciate some extra convenience if it means you're on the fast path to more flavor. Before we go any further, this is the final review in my Italian Heritage Month mini celebration. Lydia Matizio Bastianich is back on my channel as I review her cookbook Lydia's Italy. This, by the way, was the 75% discount. 75% off the price of 5 dollars 
But before I get into this cookbook, let's give you a little bit of a teaser with Lydia Sauce Secrets. I absolutely adored watching her when I was growing up on PBS. Uh, Lydia's Italian American Kitchen, Lydia's Family Table, Lydia's Italy, so many shows that she had on PBS. My favorite being Lydia's Family Table. Now, here she says her sauce secrets. An Italian cooking sauce is not just for spaghetti. Queen of the cuisine, Lydia Bastiani says six standout styles that just a beef, seafood, chicken, and vegetables. And you'll want to eat every one of them with pasta, too. So, along with sharing her wisdom and wit, she says six sauce recipes. Creamy garlic sauce with broccoli. Almond pesto Japanese with seared chicken. We also have, hmm, chickpea puree with poached shrimp. An olive and caper sauce with fusilli. Finally, uh, samoyguil sauce, samoyguil sauce <clears throat> with striped base. And braised vegetable sauce with osobuco. Base, bass, whatever, all the same in my book. I'm part Italian folks, so I can't really nail down the language or the dialects just yet. But what I can nail is helping you share great food with great company with no empty plates and no empty wallets. And that is exactly what Rachel Ray does in stride. I mean, come on. Every day with Rachel Ray is really an everyday affair in my house. I read all her magazines, the ones that I have in here. And whenever I get a chance to review any of them here for any occasion, or just whatever it suits my fancy, it's always a treat. She also has a recipe that's pet friendly. And she takes you on a culinary tour of Tuscany. You know, near the villa where she and husband John Cusimano got married. They return to that, pla that area every year to celebrate their very anniversary. Once again, this is Cinque All The Way. And another delicious reminder that an adventure in Abadanza is never more than 30 minutes away. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This review is finito, but make sure you check back later for my review of Lydia's Italy. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.